according to the vast majority of Superman fans, myself included, of course, Clark Kent's origin story as Superman holds immense significance on numerous counts as it explores the timeless theme of an individual's a superpowered one, no less, journey of self-discovery and acceptance. By portraying Clark Kent's humble beginnings in the humble town of Smallville and his humble adoption by the Kent family in their humble farm, his origin story exhibits the power of, well, many things people find universal, nurturing and instilling values of compassion, even morality, and justice. Clark's struggle to comprehend and regulate his significant abilities resonates with the vast majority of audiences, symbolizing the challenges that many individuals face in embracing their own unique qualities and finding their mark in this world. Uh, Also, the origin story serves as a powerful metaphor for the immigrant experience as Clark, an alien from Krypton, learns to navigate the complexities of Earth and use his powers to protect and evoke inspiration in humanity and make a very positive impact on the world around us. You know, saving cats from trees, or, I don't know, uh, killing Zod. So, to have James Gunn flat out say that Superman Legacy will not retell Clark Kent's origin story would be perceived as, what's the word, um, alien. No pun intended. Maybe it's a good thing that Clark Kent's origin story isn't being rehashed. Because, after all, who wants to have Uncle Ben get killed like eight times in the Spider-Man movies, right? And that's something that Tom Holland's trilogy, Spider-Man Homecoming, Far From Home, and No Way Home, rectified. Uh, Other than that one mention of Uncle Ben, which was actually mentioned by a Spider-Man who had to watch Uncle Ben die. And Tobey Maguire and Andrew Garfield's iteration of Spider-Man, just like we're seeing with most of the Superman's iterations, I mean, Uncle Ben died so many times. And then we have Krypton getting destroyed in the older Superman movies and Man of Steel. The facts are this. Clark Kent's origin story has been told and retold numerous times in various media formats, such as, you know, older movies, TV shows, and comic books. Constantly revisiting his origin story can lead to a sense of repetition and diminish the element of surprise for audiences. So, bearing in mind those facts... Who would want to have Superman's origin story portrayed again? I certainly don't. Now, I get the other side of uh, the argument that, you know what, every filmmaker, now whoever's directing Superman, isn't just any filmmaker, especially James Gunn. But typically, a filmmaker has to assume that everyone does not know the first thing about the character, and as such, an origin story is essential to rehash what the audience doesn't know, so it can, you know, captivate their minds into the idea of their being a Superman, because they learn who he comes from, and maybe they'll like the character because of that origin story, or maybe they won't, so it's very essential in a way to have Superman's origin story get retold but on the other hand like go watch christopher reeve's superman or man of steel if you get a kick out of krypton being destroyed because with the new dcu slate and a new superman movie 
that comes fresh wineskins. Focusing on other aspects of Clark Kent's life and journey as Superman can provide opportunities for enhanced character exploration instead of repeatedly revisiting his origin in the screenplay. The storytelling should delve into his other relationships, internal struggles, and moral dilemmas that have been explored in the comics, but never done before in live action, offering a more nuanced and multi-dimensional portrayal of the Superman character. And imagine if they replace that Krypton origin story with maybe a prologue introducing the villain Brainiac. I just want to keep my next point brief and short because the next thing that I'm going to talk about between you and I in this full, already extensive podcast is a very anxious topic and for good reason. So, yeah. Um, okay, just to get back to this topic about Superman, though, as we finish up, not portraying Clark Kent's origin story again will also mean that pesky to our time constraints will be eliminated. Clark Kent's origin story is often an extensive narrative, like in Man of Steel, I believe it was a 10-minute prologue, which requires substantial screen time in order for it to be fully developed. In certain adaptations or limited series formats, the constraints of time may make it challenging to adequately cover Superman's origin without sacrificing other crucial elements of the story or character development. And let's face it, I think we need to spend more time with the Kents, Marfa and Jonathan Kent, because they are the figures who Superman spent his whole life with. He Superman did not consciously meet his parents. He was just a child. Marfa and Jonathan Kent, well, that relationship could be explored more. And if you want to, like, immerse us into the perspective of Superman's childhood, we wouldn't remember Krypton either if we were a baby. So, having Superman and his origin story being uh, separated would be prudent. So... I mean, there's that. What are your thoughts on there being no backstory for Clark Kent Superman? I think it's the right move, but perhaps you might have a varying outlook on things. Who knows? Whatever your thoughts are, to those of you tuning into this podcast, thank you, by the way, for that. Share them with me in the comments section below, or reach out to us through our Twitter inbox, at Cinema Courtroom.